So if I don't respect you by doing it, who don't you respect by reciprocating? I don't respect you. You don't respect yourself. Oh, I don't respect shit. you either, and you don't respect yourself. No, no, yourself. you say either. You don't respect yourself. If a nigga just stick and dick in anything, he don't respect himself. Listen to what you're saying, though. I'm telling you, if you find something wrong, if I find beating a woman wrong, well, I won't find an excuse to do it. Mm. Okay. Oh, if shit. you find cheating wrong, mm. you won't find an excuse to do that which you find wrong. Damn. If your white friend came up to you and said, I think it's wrong to be racist, but then a black person pissed them off and they said, nigger! <laughs> oh, I don't mean you. I mean them. What would you say? You have a point. That's I what always I have say a point. right now. <laughs> you do have a very good point, but... I still stand on what I said. Ah, uh, that's weird. Uh, gotcha. So I'm going to let Myron, who does a better Bruh. job now of being okay. this. Uh, yeah, um, I'll, I'll keep it simple. Um, Penis. Oh, what's wait. what's easier to accomplish, working at McDonald's or being a doctor? We can start here. Working at McDonald's? Yeah, what's easier to accomplish, being be, working at McDonald's or being a doctor? What's easier to do? <laughs> to do? Yeah. It depends on how you see it. Man, she's thinking about this? McDonald's. Okay. Because I feel Stupid. like it's a trick question. No, it's just a very straightforward question. What's easier to do? Working yeah. at McDonald's or working at doctor? McDonald's is easier okay. to accomplish. Oh, working sure. at McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, God. I guess working at McDonald's. <laughs> okay. This actually says a lot about female psychology now that we're go going through this. What's easier to do? Working at McDonald's or being a doctor? Working at McDonald's. Okay. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I mean, it depends if you're a doctor. It's gonna be easier for you being a doctor. What? What's easier to do, work at McDonald's or be or be a doctor? It's obviously easy working at McDonald's. <laughs> okay. What about you? Um, like, okay, like I'm not gonna lie. I have the same thing to say. Like, it depends on what's yeah. easy. If you're prepared, like, if you're prepared to be a doctor, it's gonna be. Easy. Is it easier for a doctor to go flip a burger and dip some fries, or is it easier <laughs> for a, 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 a fry <laughs> dipper to go and change out a heart? Okay, it's easier okay. to be a McDonald's. Come you on, a doctor, you did not say a cardiovascular That's, surgeon. Do you understand what? Oh, wait a minute. What kind of doctors you talking about? <laughs> Give me the easy doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Give me that one. A general one. Yeah, general oh doctor. If that one's easy. Go ahead, tell me about him. Yeah, tell me. Tell no, us. No, I was just, I was just stating that. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. I just asked for the That's easy doctor. Y'all okay. can't okay. give me the easy guy. It's He's stupid. I think we need to doctors. go back to what Byron well, said, because well, Byron <laughs> said after hearing the first few of you, he said, well, that tells me a lot about y'all <laughs> no, and is. women in general. And I'll talk tell about that here in a second. Uh, after, uh, so okay, well, who, who, what's um, easier to do? Be a doctor or work at McDonald's? McDonald's, because the doctor requires more commitment. Okay, I was gonna ask that next. Don't worry. What about you? <laughs> what's easier to do? Work at McDonald's or be a doctor? Well, duh, working at McDonald's. Okay, who's you respected more in society, the McDonald's employee or the doctor? The doctor. Say it again. Who's, who's respected, respected more, more in society, the doctor or the McDonald's employee? Of course, the doctor. Doctor. Doc. Doctor. Doc. Doctor. The doctor. 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 Why is a doctor respected more by society? Because he actually does something like for the community. Like he saves lives. Okay. So, yeah. I would say the same. <coughs> Schooling and shit. Took a while to acquire it. And, yeah. the, income. Yes, and the income. Right. And the income. And the income. And the income, yeah. Okay, so it took time to do. Okay, yeah. what about you? I honestly think it's the commitment. The commitment? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. The education. The education. The commitment. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. What about you? Yeah, the vacation and the time. Okay. What about you? Yeah, I would say like the skill set level that it takes to acquire. So like that's why it's like a limited job. Okay. What about you? Okay. I forgot what you said. The yeah, question you got you. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you stupid. Why is why, one why respected is it, Yeah, more? why is a doctor respected oh, more than I, a McDonald's employee? You said employee? it earlier. You said it earlier. Oh, commitment. Commitment, yeah, you said it earlier. Uh, so why okay. you're single. What about you? I'm why is <laughs> why is a doctor respected more in society? By value. By value that they bring? Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, with that same token, oh, shit. who is it easier? Who who is it? Who is it easier for to get sex, men or women? Women. Who's it? Women. <laughs> women. 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 Who's it easier to what? Who is it easier to get laid, being a female or being a male? Sexo. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I think female also. Okay. Female. Women. 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 Okay. Now, 
you guys probably don't know this, but it's very hard. You for triggered my trap card. It's very difficult for men to get Some sex. Some of y'all are Obviously. fucking idiots. And we'll make it simple. Do you reject most men that come up to you? Hmm. Are you picky and selective? Yes. What about you? Are you picky and selective? Yeah. Are you picky and selective? What about you? You? I'm very picky. <laughs> oh, me? Are you picky and selective? I'm not picky. I have boundaries. <laughs> so by definition, so you're, you're picky selective. Then. Some things I wouldn't do a little bit, yes, with standards. So by definition, yes, by definition, you're picky. <laughs> <laughs> Saying your boundaries and you, you have boundaries or standards, that means that there's people that disqualify yeah. from, yeah. from being with you. You don't just take anybody. True. Okay, what about you? Yeah. What about Most you? Most definitely, yes. Yes. Okay, ladies. So thank you very much because now that we see the logic here, a man is effectively a doctor and a woman is a McDonald's employee, and I'll explain why. It's easy for you guys to get sex. It's very hard for us to get sex. Gotcha, if a guy's able to go out there and have sex with multiple women, he's doing something right in life. If you fuck a bunch of dudes, you're do doing something very wrong in your life. We're not the same. Goes back to what he was saying before. He could impregnate 100 women. You can only have one kid. So men have to provide value to get sex. You guys don't have to provide value to get sex. I'll give you an example. If I walk into the nightclub, I gotta have a section, mm -hmm. I gotta be a somebody, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta be, uh, have other women with me, I gotta show some social proof, I gotta maybe come in in a nice car, dress well, etc. You go in a nightclub with a $2 dress on and go, ah! and ah! some guy is still gonna go ahead and try to talk to you, from Sheen. or buy you a drink. <laughs> so, so, hold on, hold on. Sheen. so that is why when women say, well, my promiscuity is the same as your promiscuity, no the fuck it's not. Because I had to go to med school, I had to do all this to be attractive, to even get a chance at a female, versus you guys don't have to work as hard at all. That's why female promiscuity is not the same as male promiscuity. Let's bring it back. Why are whores not respected? Because it's easy to do. Why are men, as you would claim that are whores, respected? Because it's hard, to, hard do. to do. We are the whore makers, you guys are the whores. This is why girls that are promiscuous mm. are not respected in any fucking society, but men that can have a bunch of women are respected in society. We have to work to get bitches. You guys don't have to work to get dick. So it's not the same. Or you could just pay for it. Fuck <laughs> 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 that don't count, a nigga though. Fuck, uh, yes, it does. A nigga could fuck a thousand bitches and he paid okay, for what all the, of them. Okay, it still what does work. It yeah, what do you, oh, oh my God. How, how do I get the money? How do I get the money? That's a cop. How do I get the money? God did. Worked for it. Oh. Oh. How, like, how could you miss that? Though? You said it and said it, and you know where money comes from. And here's the thing, from. too. I don't want to sound like an asshole, but a lot of you guys actually struggled with the question when I said, um, what's easier to do, be, be a McDonald's employee or a doctor? Well, she well, it took a little bit of time. Some of you guys were reluctant to answer it. Yep. And this goes back to, and I didn't want to say this until the end, because this is going to be a little bit demeaning, but I'm just going to be honest. Women are naturally lazy. You guys don't operate on a meritocracy. Let me explain. Men understand there's one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy's the best, he gets paid the most. This guy's a superstar, he gets the most. This guy's second place, whatever. Men are okay with competition, we're okay with hierarchies. Women are not. You guys don't like saying, I'm better than this, or whatever. Women don't respond the same way to competition. I know you're probably looking at me crazy. This is why when little girls play, what do they do? They play hopscotch, mm. they play tag, they play games where there's no delineated winner and loser. That's what I'm trying to explain. Unless, it's a natural tendency in females. Unless they're a tomboy. To, to, yeah, but that's you have a what, choice. but that proves my Tom point even boy. more. They're more masculine. What is it, what, what is masculinity? Masculinity a part a cornerstone of masculinity is competition. For women, it's not like that. So when I ask you guys this question, what's easier to do? Be a McDonald's a player or a doctor? Some of you guys kinda of struggle with it because women don't understand meritocracy. Because you guys live life on easy mode. Well, men though, if I had a bunch of dudes in here, it'd be easy as hell. Everybody'd be like, Doctor, nigga, what the fuck? Because men understand competition. You guys don't. So that is why. I don't like when I ask questions like this, women don't understand, oh well, dudes want to have sex or whatever, and we're not the same, we're not on the same level. It's different. There's a reason why a minority of men fuck all the girls. And here's a funny thing. Look, these women crazy. tried to make it sound like they didn't understand a simple thing. I've heard women call out other women for saying, that bitch easy. She'll yeah. fuck anybody. She's yeah. You know what you don't hear yeah. men saying? That nigga easy. That nigga These easy. women can fuck him easy. <laughs> we like that. That nigga get pussy. Uh, mm. So it's a different him. argument. And yeah. for you not to see that it is a different we argument. We see it's a different argument. But and I as a matter of so fact, let's, have, let's have a little bit more fun with this. I think it's dumb. Everybody hold up 10 hands. Let's have even more fun with this oh, right shit. now. Fingers. We're going to play a game. Ten fingers. Ten fingers. Ten fingers. Ten yeah. fingers. yeah. Or the girls. For all the women. Okay, ladies. <laughs> no, not for you. Do never yeah. Not for you, Tommy. <laughs> now I feel less down. All right, ladies. So this is the way the game is going to work. We're going to start here with Russia. Miss Russia, I want you to name one redeeming factor about yourself. Okay? And if you name something that the other girls have, I want you to take one finger down. 
Okay. <clears throat> so Ooh. it could be example like loyalty. Um, I'm loyal. Boom. Yeah. Right. All Which right. I hope all of you do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Take a finger down. Or it could be I'm funny. Blah blah. So one redeeming factor that you think men would find um, attractive in you to be a good girlfriend or a long term partner. So we'll start with you. One redeeming factor. Good. Caring. Okay, ladies. Yeah. And if any of you are caring, take one finger down. All right. What about you? Okay. Forgiving. Forgiving. If you're forgiving, <laughs> take one finger down. Are you lying? I'm not lying. lying. She's not lying. I will forgive, but I just can't forget. forget. And then right. when yeah. I think about it, I just want to. And cheat on you back. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if that's really forgiving, but that's fine. We'll, we'll give it to you. So forgiving, ladies, which means, you know, compassion, whatever. What about you? Um, Loyal. Compassion? Loyal. No, 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 no. Forget oh, the compassion. Geez. So loyal. Everybody who's loyal, take a finger down. What about you, Miss Columbia? Family oriented. Huh? Family, Family oriented. oriented. Family oriented? Okay. Mm -hmm. Family oriented. So good mom, good good uh wife. Okay. What about you? Hard working. Hard working. All the ladies here that are hard working, take a finger down, please. Okay? What about you? Um, I guess I can say oh my god. Um, compassionate. Okay. Compassionate. If you're compassionate and you care about oh. people. Please take a finger down. If you if you lost a hand, just keep one hand up, ladies. If you lost a hand, great. Okay, what about you? Let's say I'm. Um, I guess you could say like genuine or authentic. Okay, you're real. How many other ladies here are real? Okay, great. What about you? Um, emotional. I don't know. Well, a redeeming yeah, factor no. like, that a man okay. will find attractive. All right. Like, oh yeah, they don't like that. I'll, I'll say family oriented. <laughs> like I agree with all these. Somebody ladies. said. Somebody said family oriented. Yeah. Can you give us something else? A new one. It's family feud. You can't just walk up there and say what somebody else said. <laughs> willing to have more kids. Okay. Okay, yeah. so would we say... I want more babies. I guess uh, willing to have kids. Yeah. Uh, good mom? Fertile? Good mom, Fertile. definitely. A good mom? <laughs> Fertile. Yeah, Fertile. good mom. Okay, let's, yeah, uh, let's put good, good, good mom or good oriented. future mother. Fair uh, for sure. everybody I mean, else here. Yeah. A, good, a good mom willing to <laughs> end it with her husband, though. Yeah. This nigga. All right, no, give us I, one I, more. He added, say, he, what he said was right. Good future mom. Good future oh, mom. Future yeah. mom. Yeah. Because a couple yeah. girls here yeah. aren't moms. So, like, yeah. a good yeah. future mom. Yeah. Yeah. Future okay, mom. Uh, so everybody take your finger down to that. Okay, what about you? Going above and beyond. <laughs> Can you be a little bit more specific on that? <clears throat> like, just doing, like, the most? Thoughtful? No, no, no that, thoughtful? yeah, thoughtful. Can we thoughtful. say thoughtful? Yeah. Okay. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go back one more time around, name one more trait about yourself, and we'll go back around. Go ahead. By yourself. That's redeeming. Oh, oh, Something um, yeah. um, I could be open. How do I put that in a way? Like, like that. Yeah. Yeah. communication? Um, open communication, yeah. Open minded or open communication? Open communication. Okay, you're a good talker with mm -hmm. the person. Do All right, what about you? Yeah, down. if you're a good communicator, yeah, yeah, put it yeah, down. Yeah. Okay. Anytime okay. you're that. Trustworthy. Okay, trustworthy for okay, everybody else here. Okay. Yeah. I would say I'm, I'm okay. Just, what about you? I'm pretty open-minded. Open-minded. Who's open-minded here? Take a finger down. I ain't got no more fingers. I ain't got no more fingers. Okay. Yeah, yeah, put your hands down. If yeah, put your hands down if you don't have any more. Okay. Yeah, you out of it. What about you? Um. Well, I think one of my attractive features is that I can actually cook. So. Okay, you can cook. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other girl here that could cook? Take a finger down. Oh, what? Are, uh, you already <laughs> down. All right. What about you? Um, I'm think I'm pretty funny actually. So I think I'm a. Without the cat. Okay. All right, fair. Oh. Funny. And then what about you? Oh, you don't got any more fingers? Oh, no, I'm there right now. Oh, and you, okay. <laughs> Yo, what this yeah. experiment just proved to me Shows. is that all of you are the fucking same and bring the same thing to the table. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Can you do the same thing with the table? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But there's a difference. The man that you want isn't like everybody else. How? So like, because you guys all said you're selective, right? Yeah. So that means, by definition, which was the best, that by definition of you guys being choosy and picky and selective, a minority of men qualify. Yeah. However, you guys all gave traits that men look for, which I agree with. A lot of you guys gave good traits, but guess what? The girl next to you has it too. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to be able to sit here and differentiate yourself from the next girl? The reality is, a lot of you guys can't. So I can have as many bitches as I want. <laughs> what? <laughs> but why you would you go to another I girl? Mean, I see what you're trying to sell, but I'm not buying it. What? I see what you're trying to sell, but I'm not really buying it. I could do the same thing in this room with you all y'all niggas. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm so sick of you. Shut up. Man. Yes. Why? Because you, you always got something to say. Yeah, yeah. That was him. That was How me. did he oh, turn was, into this guy? Right. I saw He's... you say it. No, Hello. this time it was me. Oh, well, whoever. Okay. Right. Do, do you understand well, the addressed. concept of, hold on, hold on. Do you understand the concept <laughs> of supply and demand? I understand the concept, but what I'm saying is, like, I could say the same thing about all y'all niggas in this room. Y'all, uh, which one? Do y'all have cars? Do y'all have jobs? Do y'all have a house? Do you have money? Mm -hmm. Like, y'all all have the same shit. No, no. Not all. No, no, no. What? He got a Corvette. 
Oh it's God. all about got personality with you. We got a Honda. Okay, bro. <laughs> Different but shit, nigga. Car. I got a Toyota. Oh, my God. Different cars. I like the Audi. You see? Oh, uh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, because no, it's, it's, bro, it's hard on. for us to pick guys because, like, Say one guy has you this. You can have that car. You can have a Corvette Say one and guy be an has asshole. one thing yeah. that you're looking for. Why would you talk bad about it? And not the, not it's all about, about the you. personality. I'm all right. Let me, let me be blunt about this. I'm going to just be very, very, very blunt. Okay? Attractive men are rare. Attractive women are not. Attractive That's men. That's what my experiment yes. literally here just proved. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, one more time. Okay. Attractive men are rare. Attractive women are not. I Depends told you guys to all at. name traits about no. yourself. And you guys all have the same traits. So Depends women aren't as special at. as you guys think that you are. That's my point. <clears throat> Sounds like but you just wait. hate women. Oh, yeah, there we go. Somebody had to say it. How wait, wait, you got so mommy issues. If you 